Hey everybody, Theta here, back in one of the Stone Face reactions. Uh, it has actually been quite a while since I've recorded one of these. Um, not for not wanting to, because obviously I enjoy the series, otherwise I wouldn't be doing these. Um, most so that Griff and I started doing our normal recordings again. We're past that uh, two week period where we were having a problem uh, due to illness and travel and whatnot. Plus, me and uh, Lessons have started recording uh, Macross, which you'll already know because it's coming out well by the time this comes out. So yeah, just like a huge loss of free time, plus all the doctor shit I gotta go through to this guy, you know? Um, but yeah, I hope today is not going to be a deeply emotional episode, because I also have to admit, I just got done re-watching the final two episodes of 86. Uh, which we have finished uh, recording recently, and it was been a real tearjerker for me when I watched them alone. Because you know, I I react differently here for some reason. Slightly less on the solo recordings, but a lot more when I'm with Griff. The back and forth changes everything. And of course, if you're on Patreon, you already know that's been over and it's been over for a while. This on YouTube might be coming out around the same time as those episodes hit, so let me know. Let me know if you enjoyed those. It comes to Rayer, though. I believe last episode we covered uh, Alcyon's death. I'm pretty damn sure Alcyon died. And, uh... Uma? Is it Uma? God, I'm, I'm always... Always with the name. I'm bad. Umi, sorry. Umi, uh, overcame. Well, just about everything that made her the most interesting at the time, I felt like. But also, we get to see who she thought her, um, her love interest was back on Earth. So, that was really interesting. But now everybody's evolved, so I guess we gotta see where we go there. I guess I also forgot to put the, uh, the slug, the newest, uh, pet, on the concept board. However, they didn't get into a combat, and I don't actually know if they died, right? So that's a confusing bit. Okay, so we're down for pet number five. I guess they must be dead if we're not pulling them back out again. I'm surprised he's getting a second chance, or a... Calling it a second chance. <laughs> calling it a second chance specifically because they don't consider the groups of failures he's had as mattering. They care that he let Alcyon trick him and freed her against their wishes. I'm waiting for something to be revealed with Nakuna here. Because he is like the magic. Sorry. He is like the ultimate creation smith. I believe my thought is still that he is the master. The master wizard just hiding out. 
but we've seen him turn to stone. And I don't mean just turn to stone, I mean we've seen him in stone form, laying somewhere. Oh, I thought it was going to be like a Tenter's floating disc sort of thing. It has to be a certain level above the ground. この子分かってて私たちが困るのを楽しんでるんじゃないでしょうね。見て。Uh, just past Nadia, right? There'll be a giant dead, uh, giant guarding Atlantis. I mean, it would scare the shit out of me. Underwater, darkness, and overwhelmingly large architecture. So it just reminds me of Galaxy Quest. Do we even know if there's air out there? I would assume the person with fire magic could probably do something to light up the area. I really feel like you would have heard the doors opening and closing due to their size. Could make a badass D and D campaign out of this. It's slightly concerning that if they're supposed to be here to do this of their own free will, well, well they got kidnapped, but that there's a certain level of mind control happening here. So is this the Selene of the, uh, title? Sorry, Selene's and the Selene wrong. What 
to be fair, they are magic knights. They're just not the right color. That sounded bad. Oh, right, I already forgot about Ascot. Which makes sense why his monster was an underwater monster. Well, actually, it doesn't really, if you think about it. The underwater monster thing makes more sense if he had attacked them while they were traveling underwater. situation as a memory. Yeah, that's right, she's gonna be pissed at him ordering Vigor to attack them. Because that led to them having to kill Vigor. Same time, he's just a fucking kid. <laughs> when, plus, she's also dead, so. I mean, I know I haven't shown you guys the board in a while, but she's already red X'd on my board. Well, Magic's gonna work on a shield. Try something else. Also, maybe try something psychological, because he's, again, just a kid. Donning? Are these going to be the, uh, the mechs? See, I don't even know how you would do that. How do you express the power of your heart when you're alone in a room? Unless she, like, leaves the room to help her friends. That'd be a show.
事な友達だったのによくもお前たちはお前たちは、oh, I was about to get slapped. 友達に攻撃させるなんてよくできるな友達が私たちにやっつけられたり怪我させられたりして平気なのか平気じゃないよ友達が怪我したら悲しいだろう友達が危なかったら助けてあげたいって思うだろう友達を大切にしなくて何が大事なんだ That's a shame because it really felt like she was getting through to him. Hella did not appreciate being controlled. Convenient. Now you have something to show off. Otherwise, I have no idea how you would do this in a room all by yourself. Obviously, that's the test, then, right? Nanji no Mokteki wa Shinkan Zagato Uchitaos. So no Tamini wa Koko de Korosarete wa Naran. How do you know that? Demo Ikino Birunoda. Sorega Omae no Kokoro no Tsiosada. Kokoro no Tsiosa. Nanji no Chikara, Waga Maini Shimese. Then says no magic night to Narni Sawashi, Kokoro no Tsiosa, Waga Maini Shimese. I mean, obviously, one, yeah, what you just said. But also, two, you are imagined, uh, sorry, you are imagined, Nate. You don't need to prove it, you are one. Given that her water attack is in the shape of uh, a dragon, and then her statue thing was a dragon, I have to wonder if the other ones are going to be in different shapes too. Your own energy. Such a weird test from Silix. What would happen if she was just in the room alone? You would just say, you have to leave. they flashed over to the uh, the monster again because I'd already kind of forgot what he looked like and I was like is he just like a run down version of the room god and yes I am capable of forgetting things within five seconds of the last having seen them 
Welcome to the channel. I gotta see how you plan to take this with you. I was it magic itself into your gems. What? Sorry, was that the sound of a proto pack turning on? Oh, it powers them all up? Okay. That's cool. I guess that means they don't have to do one for each of them. Uh, did you not listen to what he just said? Uh, you said you're not powerful enough. I'll appear to you later. Also, where's Ascot? I have to think. I have to think this is part of uh, Zagata's plan, right? It has to be. There's no way this dude is just... This dude who can see them, no matter where they're at, has the power to defeat them on a whim. Has the forces to do so. Just isn't doing it for no reason. I have to think his plan involves the rune gods being activated and maybe taking them for himself or something? I don't know. I don't know what the plan is but I have to think this is part of it. This isn't some sort of Xanatos gambit or gross incompetence. Just because the show is like uh, on the level of a children's theme, right? It doesn't mean that the bad guy... I was thinking back to Sonic Sat AM for example, right? Take a children's premise, give it a serious twist. Who am I thinking of me on the wheel? Oh god, the debate again. You know what, I'm gonna pick a good guy this time. Who? And god help you if you turn into a bad guy like I'm always guessing. I'm gonna guess it's gonna be Foo this time. I'm thinking Zagato, but I'm picking Foo. By the way, cocoons aren't spherical, by the way. I just want to put that together. I can't remember. Is it always just going to be one of these four? Is Orange, Makino, and then the other three, and I've just been wildly guessing random people of who it could never be. No, no, because that dead girl was one of them, wasn't she? Maybe Orange just means anybody else. So it's gonna be Fu, Umi, or Hikaru, and then random anybody else could be it. I swear Firo was one time, too, right? 
Anyway, I guess I'm confused also by the name of next episode. Which either means that we're going to get an info dump. Yeah, it has to be some sort of info dump. Because they put themselves into next episode, so it's not going to be some sort of history episode. Huh. Well then. Yeah, uh, they also just didn't seem to gather on the fact that the, um, uh, Solis said, I will reveal myself as soon as you're ready. Uh, because they very seem to, like, think the rune god's out and available, and, like, they can use it, and they're gonna go take on Zagato now. So, yeah, there's a fairly big misconception, it feels like. Uh, but yeah, I don't think I have any other deeper thoughts. Uh, this episode, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. I have been Theta. This has been the Stoneface Reactions. Magic Knight Ray Earth, thank you for joining me. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching another Stoneface Reactions. If you have an idea of another video we could go ahead and watch, go ahead and put it in the comments down below, and we'll add it to the wheel. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know what you thought about this video and what parts you liked. And until then, we'll see you next time. Is this too goofy?